In today's video, we are going to be taste testing <coughs> Serenace, Serenace root beer. Let's get started. This is their bottle design right here. We have a purplish, reddish, dark reddish, purplish, pinkish label color with yellow and white accents of letterage. And um, for all you bottle collectors of cabbage out there, we have the cabbage color. Handcrafted soft drinks, Serenace, 1888. Their website right here. We make our Serenace root beer with the best of intelligence. Ingredients, not intelligence, ingredients. Because we're all intelligent here and we read ingredients like intelligence because we're intelligent. <laughs> Look for the fresh vanilla and licorice notes. So there's music playing from the bottle. Anyway, you can see we have our Genesee and Wyoming cup right here, which accents our railroad crossing and Genesee and Wyoming orange sign right there. Saranac root beer has its trademark rich, creamy head that only a real brewery root beer can achieve. So, we'll see how many fingers thick the head will be, and hopefully it doesn't overflow. We have half a bottle here. I've already drank like two of these. I've gotten the time to let it sink into the palate, you know? <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, fridge and taters. I almost just spilled the drink. By the way, it's root beer. It's not real beer, so. It claims that it has a vanilla and licorice note of ingredients. It has a critch, creamy head. It's a twist off cap, but in order to be more realistic, we have a popper opener. Let's get a whiff. The smell rating is about eight out of 10, I'd say. Pretty good smell rating. <coughs> Got about a finger thick head there, even though this was a half a bottle and I already poured probably all of the juices out of it. All right, so we'll give it a nice taste now. Tastes like root beer. <laughs> That's a good sign. Pretty good, I'd say. You can definitely taste some vanilla. I don't really know what licorice tastes like. You can definitely taste the Saranac in the Serenace. So yeah, um, it says cafe free, caffeine free. So intelligent and cafe. Ingredients and caffeine, intelligent and cafe. They all mean the same thing. I mean, right? <laughs> Non-alcoholic, so that's good. Pretty good. <laughs> Let's give it another taste. It's very smooth. It's got a very smooth carbonation. It's not like the real fizzy. <laughs> It's pretty good. <laughs> carbonation, you know, when you drink seltzer, when you drink a little bottle of seltzer, it's got like sharp, daggerly carbonation. <sighs> when you drink this, it's very smooth. It's not like it's, it's just like the syrup of the drink. It's still got a little bit of carbonation, but it still stays and sticks around and really just like, it's just very soft, you know, it's very soft drinkage, you know, very, very sweet. What's with all the crackage going on upstairs? I swear people are, oh. No, they're not listening. They're they're doing business. Anyway, overall, it's a very nice drink. The aftertaste is very industrial. It's very duty, you know? Unconvertible picture hooks, brass plated, decimate, lifetime guaranteed, coated taste. So yeah, it has like a, a slight original flavor to it. Like if I drank Stewart's root beer, everybody has their own original flavor, you know? This, you can tell it has its own original flavor to it. If you hear me say RB, that's just root beer, you know? RB. Expect a few more reviews of um, drinkages in the future because anytime I can get root beer in the house and not be yelled at because I say, oh, it's for a YouTube video, you know? That's totally normal, totally normal. You can definitely taste the raw flavor and the originalness in the drink itself. <laughs> or eight, eight or nine. I hope you enjoyed today's wonderful video. Leave a, leave a, leave a whatever you want and you just leave whatever you want. We're pushing 49 subscribers. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye. I gotta clean all this up because I don't wanna get ants.